Hey guys, Wet Willy here. Today I'm making this video just to make you a better Zenyatta player. And I've broken this down into really just three key things. I think that's all I really needed for the most part. I might go too specific into it. Um, but let's go ahead and get right in it. I'm going to start with the first key thing. I'm going to make it the most important one. is going to be your orbs, your harmony, and your discord orb. You gotta make sure you're using these bad boys constantly. I think this is your your lifeline, the way to kill. This is just gotta be using them. Now we're gonna start with the harmony orb. The harmony orb. Um, I think your main target when it comes to harmony orb with your teammates is just your offensive heroes. Now this is gonna come to the surprise. Like, why don't you use it for your tank? I'm not saying you shouldn't use it for your tank. If your tank's low in health, by all means, use your tank. But I think when it comes to Getting a better edge on people, you know, offensive troop versus offensive troop, I think it will help just to have that harmony orb on there. I, I can't tell you how many times where I've been an offensive troop and a Genji kills me just because he has a harmony orb on him, just because of a little bit more health than I do, the little bit, the little edge he has on me. So yeah, you know, it, it, it doesn't mean don't try to use your harmony orbs on people that need health. By all means, if your team needs healing, heal your team. Now let's go to the Discord Orb. Discord Orb is great. It's an amazing feature for Zenyatta. It's, 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 it's the killer. Now, that, I know they have nerfed the Discord Orb recently, but I still think it's still amazing, regardless of the nerf or not. Now, now the best way to use this, I think, is to basically focus fire with it. Now, when you, when you give someone the Discord Orb, I think your team really needs to focus all their, their firepower mostly on that single player, just to knock him out of the fight you know and just knock him one by one i think slowly by doing that you guys will eventually have the upper hand when it comes to how many people are on each side so yeah that, that's the first key thing the second key thing is using your ultimate now i've seen so many zenyatas waste their ultimate on themselves or they think they have the right situation you know they just misuse it um, now it's, it's a lot, a lot more trickier. You gotta kind of know when ultimates have been used on the enemy team. You know, you gotta know when they're about to use their ultimate. It's basically, Zenyatta's ultimate is just to counter other ultimates or save you from an ultimate that's about to kill you, like Farah's ultimate or Zarya and Farah's ultimate. Just you know, combos of ultimates that just really help your team out. You know, don't be selfish about using your ultimate just to keep yourself alive. I think it's a really selfish way of doing things, and I think you're just hurting the team further down the road by just placing the ultimate right off the bat for just yourself. Now, the last thing is, is Zenyatta's damage. He does tremendous damage. You know, he's, he's up there with the offensive troops when it comes to damage dealt. You know, that's why he's different from the rest. You know, I think why he, he doesn't heal as fast because he gives, gives out so much damage. It's more of a balance thing for him. So, you, so don't be afraid to use his attack. You know, don't be sitting behind your team and just constantly healing and sitting on disco boards. I think it's your part to kill and, and use your orbs to attack. You know, you, just, you can easily kill a tracer or almost any offensive healer you can kill just on your own. So I think it's I think it's make your team better and it, it's, it's a lot way a lot better way of winning if. You're doing a lot of damage to your enemy team. Now that's my video, guys. Tell me how you think. Leave any comments. You know, this is the first time I'm recording, so just let me know how you guys think about it. Like the page if you thought it was a good enough video to like. Dislike everything it needs to be disliked. And and add any comments at the end to see what I need to prove at. Thanks, guys. Hopefully I'll make another video soon.